Welcome to Crazy Korean Cooking. I'm Stephanie. I'm Grace. Today we are making miyokguk. Yes, miyokguk is Korean seaweed soup. And traditionally, Koreans eat miyokguk on their birthdays. Mm -hmm. And in fact, today is Stephanie's birthday. Happy birthday, Stephanie! Thank you. Today we use beef for our miyokguk, but there are actually lots of different ways of making miyokguk. In southern areas of Korea, obviously they use a lot of seafood. I'm sure you could easily make it with chicken stock, with chicken instead of beef. Yes, they actually mm -hmm. use chicken as well. Yeah. So it's very versatile. Ingredients involving making miyokguk is very simple. Mm -hmm. Literally just miyok. I have to say this all the time, but Korean people love to dry anything. This handful of miyok becomes this when you soak in water. So don't soak the whole bag. Oh, you're gonna end up with 80 people's beer. You're gonna have to feed the military. Yes. We need um, rice rinsed water. So this is how you do it. Just like how you do when you're making regular rice. Okay. We're going to rinse Mia. Some people like their mee up long and some people like it short. So if you like it long, you can leave it. If you want it short, you can just cut with your scissors. Saute beef in sesame oil. The outside of the beef is cooked. Then you want to add mee up in here. Minced garlic. We're going to add the rice, rice rinse water. Yes. And all you have to do now is just boil and wait. Ooh. At this point, you want to taste it? Mm, it's perfect. If you find it too salty, just add a little bit of water. Or if you don't find it salty enough, just add salt. Hey! Are you ready to eat your birthday miyoko, Stephanie? Yeah. I know this might seem very simple, but this is exactly what I wanted. Oh. Miyoko and kimchi! <laughs> Yeah. Makes everything taste very sort of clean and herbal, herb like almost. And I love this slimy, slippery texture of Mia. I like to actually put rice in right in the soup. Mm. So some Koreans like to do yeah. that. They yeah, you like to throw in kimchi juice. There. <laughs> yeah, I like to put kimchi in there as well, and it becomes red. What is seaweed? Seaweed is edible vegetables from the sea. Yes. Also called sea mustard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go to a Japanese restaurant, people might be familiar with wakame salad. Mm -hmm. So I love wakame salad. It's so good. They say Koreans and Japanese are the highest consumer of uh, seaweed. And I totally believe that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Miyokguk is number one postpartum food in Korea. I read that in Goryeo Dynasty, Koreans started to eat miyok for postpartum because they saw a whale eating seaweed miyok after giving birth and they realized, oh, okay, it's really good for postpartum. <laughs> I know you're very skeptical about this view. For this story. It doesn't matter because I know seaweed is very very healthy and nutritious so hey if it's good for me it's good for a whale. Yeah. <laughs> Scientifically miyok is proven to be good for health in general and especially for moms. Miyok or anything with miyok could be an amazing diet food mm -hmm. because it's actually low in calorie and high in fiber. Yes high in fiber. It's amazing for constipation. Yes. You? Yes. <laughs> you. <laughs> Us. You. Yeah. Apparently, miyok was so precious that in Joseon Dynasty, Korean king gave miyok as a reward to his loyal servant. <laughs> it's, it's true. That is true. Right? If you read Korean history. Well, I'd rather, you know, get a piece of land or gold or something, but hey. 
But think about it. Our health I'll take seaweed. That's <laughs> my hard labor and you know hard service. But think about it. If you don't have health, what's the point if you have land or gold or whatever? Makes sense. <laughs> We eat Miyoko to celebrate and to show the gratitude and respect towards our mom for what they've been through, mm -hmm. having to become pregnant and going through that difficult labor and, and raising us basically. That, I think it's, it's kind of very heartwarming yeah. sort of tradition. It is. I know. Yeah. How can we repay our parents? We could do that basically by asking our mom to make Miyoko for us. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> they believe if you eat miyoku because miyoku is slimy, you're going to fail a test. No, yeah. you're gonna slime through the exam and fail. I don't think it's true, but it's interesting. I heard it's actually really good for the environment. Absolutely. It requires ocean and sun. It doesn't require any extra energy. You don't need fertilizers or anything. We should eat more miyak and more miyakuk. Many Korean women actually make their own facial mask using miyak or different types of seaweed. Mm -hmm. Seaweed mask we're about to try is really good for hydrating. It prevents wrinkles, sunspots, and it really just uh, purifies your skin. Because it's from the salt water, it might irritate your face. So. Make sure you wash thoroughly, egg, but just the egg white. So you can do this to get just the white flour. Yeah. Seaweed facial mask. This is kelp. And what are you doing? And I'm going to create my own facial mask using <laughs> very dry natural ingredients. It's refreshing. Vanity insanity. This is an amazing look for you, Stephanie. Yes, and after this, I'm gonna be more beautiful. We look like some, like a character from Star Wars or something. This is mine. <laughs> mm. 
so good. Got me a car. Aww. <laughs> she totally knew we were filming this episode. <laughs> she never does this. <laughs> I think you've cried before. Of course. Yeah. Best friend of my life. You're like friend of my life. Or like love of my oh. life. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> She's trying to uh, change my card message because she doesn't like it. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> Wait, are you supposed to? I'm supposed to feed you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought. I thought. How, how do we do it then? Oh, I thought we were just doing this. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, I don't know what you're doing!